So earlier we talked about translations on a linear graph. Remember the equation y equals mx plus c? m is the slope or gradient of our line and can be positive, like this, or negative. We can also change our y-intercept as well using the term c. This means that if we wanted to move the graph up so that it crossed the y-axis at plus 2, we would make c equal to 2, like we've shown here. Changing our gradient is what is known as a transformation, because it changes the shape of the graph. Changing the constant for the y-intercept is known as translation, because all it does is move the graph up and down. You can move linear graphs to the left or right too. Let's start with y equals 3x again. What if we wanted to move it to the right by 4 units? Our equation would now be y equals 3 times x minus 4. That doesn't look quite right though, does it? Trust us when we say it is. Mass wants to play tricks on us here. When we write the equation in the brackets, we need to use the opposite sign. Since plus 4 is positive, when it's in the brackets we make it negative 4. So we can translate up with y equals mx plus c, down with y equals mx minus c, left with y equals m times x plus a, or right with y equals m times x minus a. If you like, you can even mix and match these translations. It's quite easy to do this for a linear graph, but it can get tricky with other graphs. Did you know we can do both translations and transformations with exponential graphs and parabolas as well? There are two ways to get an equation for a parabola. In each case, three points must be known to find the equation of the parabola. The first is the easiest using the roots, or x-intercepts, that is, the values at which the parabola crosses our horizontal axis. If we're given the roots x equals negative 1 and x equals plus 5, we can put our equation in the form y equals a times x plus 1 times x minus 5, where a is the steepness of the parabola. Just remember, when a parabola is factorised, the equation's roots are the opposite sign to the graph. What do we know about parabolas? They're symmetrical, so we know our vertex, or turning point, is halfway between the roots. Negative 1 plus 5 divided by 2 equals 2, so we know that our x value for the vertex is 2. Let's say in this example we are told that the y value for the vertex is at negative 4.5. We substitute these values into our equation. Negative 4.5 equals a times 2 plus 1 times 2 minus 5. Rearranging for a, we find that a equals negative 4.5 divided by negative 9, which means the slope, a, is 0 0.5. So our final equation is y equals 0 0.5 times x plus 1 times x minus 5. The second method we'll cover later. When we want to translate a parabola, we do the same thing we did for linear graphs. We can move this parabola up by 2 units by making the equation y equals 0 0.5 times x plus 1 times x minus 5 plus 2. What if we wanted to move a factorised parabola left or right? Look at our roots. Before the translation, they're at negative 1 and positive 5 on the x-axis. If we were to move the parabola 2 units to the left, we just subtract 2 from each root. The x-intercepts are now negative 3 and positive 3, so y equals 0 0.5 times x plus 3 times x minus 3. We can transform our parabola by changing the a term, which is the gradient of the parabola, or the steepness. Sometimes we won't know the x-intercepts, but we may be given the vertex. Say we know straight away that our vertex is at 2, negative 4.5. We can use the form y equals a times x minus b squared plus c, where c is the movement up or down on the x-axis from the origin, 0, 0. Why this point? Well, we know that y equals x squared touches the x-axis at this point, and all we've done is applied a translation and a transformation. We know then that c must be negative 4.5, and b, the left or right movement, is negative 2. Again, Remember, if a transformation is inside the brackets, the sign is reversed. 
We now have the equation y equals a times x minus 2 squared minus 4.5. To solve this though, we need another point. We might be told that at x equals 7, y equals 16. We can substitute in these values and solve for our slope. Again, as expected, this gives us 0 0.5 for the value of a, meaning our final equation is y equals 0 0.5 times x minus 2 squared minus 4.5, which is equal to the equation we came up with before. Check it out for yourself. Exponential graphs all have a similar equation, which look like y equals a to the power of x, where a is just some number, such as y equals 2 to the power of x, shown here. Exponential graphs, just the same as straight lines and parabolas, can be translated up, down, left and right. If we moved y equals 2 to the power of x up by 2 units, we get y equals 2 to the power of x plus 2. If we moved it to the left by 2 units, we'd get y equals 2 to the power of x plus 2. Here are some key things to remember. There are two ways to find the equation of a parabola using either the vertex or the roots. Graphs can be transformed by changing their gradients, or translated by moving the graph left, right, up or down. Remember to use the opposite signs when putting your translations inside brackets.